Welcome to the Plassey 13th. This is Stroke Index 15. It was Stroke Index 13 the first time round. We're talking 301 yards off whites and 297 off yellows. So we've just parred the 12th and we're now hoping to really hopefully find the green in two and then two pull walk off with a four. We had 22 points last night, so confidence is high. And so it started off straight, just faded into the rough on the right hand side. And as I said, we our confidence is quite high. I'm going to put at the start of this video, or I put at the start of this video, a side on view of our swing. Now, whenever you go on YouTube and you watch multiple videos, trying your best to find that missing piece, we went to Danny Mod, and again, Danny Mod is not at fault. Our application of what he is saying is possibly more the issue. But Danny Mod has the knee go down towards the ground, whereas we've tried that and we were really opening up the face of the club. We weren't getting the turn that we were looking for and it ended up being all armsy. But again, let me say that it is not Daddy Maud's fault, but more the application of his particular idea. But then we find ourselves on Russell Heritage Golf. And I'm gonna put the link to on this particular video because he was explaining the takeaway and instead of the knee going down, he was suggesting that the knee went in. He also as well highlighted that sometimes you find that the club goes inside. And we find that ever since we've cultivated a chipping technique that we can trust. And so with Russell Heritage Golf, the knee more goes in, which promotes a lot more turn. And as I said, last night we had 22 points. We played four under our handicap and we left so many more points out as well with certain chips. And so we're really, really happy with the golf at the minute. Unfortunately though, this has just leaked into the rough and you can see where the ball is there. The question, is do we go up and over the trees or do we go under? I don't think we can go under. We're gonna have to take our medicine and we're gonna have to go left of this particular tree here, get ourselves back onto the fairway, hopefully chip on and walk away with a five for two. So that's gone up and over the tree very nicely. As I say, I can't, I can't stress enough the Russell Heritage move and his highlight of that left knee going in and promoting so much more swing. We also as well had a lesson with Lewis Harper down at Oswald Street Golf Club, who just helped us make sure that the face was toward the target and so these two things Lewis Harper's lesson on face control and also as well 
Heritage Golf, the knee going more towards the left knee, going more towards the right knee has genuinely helped. So we've got a chip. of around 50 yards towards the, the green. The green has just been watered by the groundsman. So we're opening the face of the club, extending the Y. Oh. And so we find the green, we have a chance for a four. And you need to mention the memorial to Mr. Dave Wickens. We have planned an away day in memory of Dave Wickens for the 18th of September. It, it was won with 43 odd points by Elwyn Griffiths last year. And then the year before that, the inaugural was won by Brandon Omi, the one who got the hole in one on the 16th a number of days ago. So here is where our pitch has rested. We do have a chance, it's along the ridge, it was President's Day. And if there's one thing the president likes to do, he likes to choose some tricky pins. We are in a prime position for four. Being the traditionalists, we'll have the flag out. And so there we have it, after a par on the 12th, we had a par chance on the 13th on this hole. And it's thanks to Russell Heritage Golf, Lewis Harper. Please give both of them a visit via the links attached. And we're really, really excited about our golf. We play Abergelly on Sunday in the Denbyshire Golfing Union competition. And so, watch this space don't forget to like and don't forget if you're enjoying these videos and finding them helpful please subscribe as well best wishes